all hamburger juice. It's your boy, Smoke Screeners Prime. Here. I got another gift from old Uncle Big Bad. So we're going to take a look and see what's up in here, fam. And I already cut it up a little bit. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. So open sesame. Yeah. This box out the way. Let's see here. Boom. So what we have here is now a completion of the mutants. So there he is. And this guy, for whatever reason, I don't understand the shipping process. He was ordered the same day as another figure um, that both said was in stock. The other figure got here on Monday. No, the other figure got here on Tuesday, which should have been here on Sunday. And Vulture Man got here on today, which is Friday. Which is crazy, not really understanding why, but it is what it is for uh, Big Bad. So let's look at the side. It's the same, nothing over there. The back. Information on Vulture Man. You can pause, take a look. Let's open them up. All right, so we got them out of the box. And I got to say, Butcher Man comes with a lot of stuff. He has, you know, extra hands. I do not remember what this is for. Obviously, it's a weapon to kind of grab, whatnot. A couple of guns, rifle, so to speak, handgun. This was a communicator, I believe, to make different voices to trick people. Then he got, you know, uh, got a screwdriver because, you know, he works on stuff. He's their uh, mechanic, so to speak, or scientist, whatever you want to call him. He invents all his stuff. But he has a, has a screwdriver, pliers, and some decent work, not a lot. And we got a wrench. Some detail on there. Doesn't say what kind, what size it is, but opening, closing wrench. And he's got the goggles. And he's using his flying machine, as he calls it. And then this head. Now, I will say, I really do like this head. There's a lot of detail in the mouth. Eyes are very... I mean, the pupils are, like, small. I mean, very small. You can barely see them. But I like the detail. I'll be switching that out. This head is pretty good as well. So, focus. The head is pretty good. Again, you can kind of see the pupils. Um, on here, I don't know how well it's showing up, but I know the fur that's on him, it's pretty good. Rubbery texture, it has these pieces right here so you can move the arms up. So you can move the arms up without you no know, hindrance. The, uh, the skirt. I guess, I always thought it was weird he had a skirt. 
you can do the Van Damme. So, <laughs> that was that. Um, then these should have been back here, but I guess they had it here because they put it there. It'd be hard for him to stand, and he'd be like kind of up like that. Is what I believe. He'd be up sort of like that, and it'd be even more awkward. So I believe that's why that is. But uh, I'm gonna swap swap the heads because I like the expression with the mouth. Because you know, Ultra Man is always squawking. <sighs> And it is very tight. <sighs> yes, now we have old drama. <sighs> Expression is very nice. I do, I do like that. This is the head I'll be keeping on. I don't. One thing I don't like. Another thing I don't like is the hands you got. It would be nice to have a hand that's kind of open but I guess this is the closest one that's kind of open for like a grabbing effect but um, <clears throat> the rest are more closed and it would have been nice to have a different one that's more of a uh, grabbing but it's you know there this just looks like it's a belt this just looks like a belt that's wrapped around these these um, eye pieces. Uh, that's that's crazy with a little gauge. Some old crazy stuff. Let's see. And there you go. I mean, that just looks crazy. Crazy. But uh, his head can go down that much. Pretty good. So it doesn't look as bad, but. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. It's like a belt. I mean, just a, I mean, a belt is what that is. Never noticed that before. So the hand that he comes with is not big enough to hold the super power potion. So I'm going to have to find, I say, figure out which hand it is. I'm guessing probably this one. But they do snap in pretty good. It has like a rubbery feel kind of like how lion those hand was in the beginning yeah so that'll fit good and right here you have the super power potion <laughs> and the reason why um a lot of people a lot of people been kind of complaining about his size him being too big but if i remember correctly i could be all right to double check but the reason why he's bigger is because when he made this super power potion and gave him more strength and all that stuff he was able to fly and so I believe it made him a little bigger as well and I believe that's why it's just playing off the super power potion um gimmick from that so I'm I'm cool with that let's do some uh, size comparisons but before he do that, we do that. Let's um see how it looks with some of these other weapons in his hands. So let's see how this fits. Um, this is obviously not the right one, so I can't use that one. This one, let's see. Huh. So it's not that one either. It's weird. Hmm. So maybe let's see. Maybe it was the Yes, this is the the best one to use. 
for him. It's it's loose, so uh, I guess that's the best way to do it. Okay, so you have to do it so that these two hand fingers are clutched right there. That fingers like that, and the other one is on the outside holding uh, that piece right there. is what it is I think that's kind of a yeah fail for me but um, it's not that big of a deal let's see how these other weapons are I don't like how it's so loose yeah, it's, it's, it's very loose I don't like that so um, it could be tighter, but it, you know, it holds. That's what it is. So that's that machine, not machine, that gun that you know, makes that noise. Not the noise, but you no know, impersonation, so to speak. Um, it's, it's loose as well. I think they could have had a couple of hands that was a little tighter. But um, it, it does the job. You just have to finagle it around. So this hand holds uh, this weapon good you're gonna have to go through each set of hands and find what works best for you this one holds it pretty good it's in there pretty snug pretty tight so again um, I think they should have had a few hands that was uh, holds a little tighter now the pliers he holds pretty good and the screwdriver is so so you kind of gotta position it but um again yeah i think they should have had some hands that's a little bit tighter for uh, at least for the screwdriver to, again the pliers is fine the wrench is kind of like the screwdriver you have to like kind of wedge it and position it in a certain area and then he can hold it but again like i said um, another set of hands, replace one of them sets of hands with a set of hands that's a little tighter and that would have been better. Alright, so here's Chitara in Bengali, two of the newer member of the Thundercats that came in from Super 7. Even though Chitara should have been um, way earlier, she came later. But you can see the size comparison and he towers over them. Now here's Tigra and Lionel, the two tallest members of the Thundercat team. Tigra being the tallest um, and you see that Ultraman towers over them I do want to say one thing kind of off subject if you don't have the um, mirror Lionel I would get him uh, for one the figure is pretty good but this sort of omens that he comes with is the best sort of omens out of all the sort of omens that Super 7 has made it's a lot better so that being said, I took that and gave mirror, gave regular Lionel, mirror Lionel, sort of moments, and the um, and the smaller version that has the Eye of Thunder. It's a lot shinier in both the hilt and the blade. But back to Vulture, Vulture Man, you see the size he's bigger. Now here's Vulture Man, mirror Lionel, and Groom. And as you can see, Vulture Man is still pretty tall. Uh, you can kind of say he's taller than Groom, depending on how it's how you look at it. But either way, he shouldn't be that tall. But again, it's dealing with the superpower portion. And here we have him next to a mom, Ra, the Yaba, a living, yeah, 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 yeah. And um, you can see Momra towers over him. He is not taller than him by any means and as you can see we finally have all of the main mutants together of course monkey and slide jackal man were the initial mutants you saw and there was a whole bunch of others on the ship later on ultra man came and that completed the core team of the mutants and yeah he's a little bit bigger not that big a deal you know, you can see I kind of have Ultraman and Monkey in knees a little bent, you know, for a little bit of a, uh, for, for poses and Ultraman is standing straight up. If he bend his knees, 
then he's a little more in line with the rest of them. But it doesn't make any, it doesn't make that much of a difference to me. Um, it's Voltron, so it is what it is. I'm not sweating that. But well, it's good to have the core team of the mutants together. And thank you for coming and checking me out. Fat Kid in Dodgeball, I'm out, baby. And don't forget to like and subscribe.